Hey there, I'm Tommy Lunsford and you're watching a review of Lloyd Barnes's Lux. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tara Lunsford and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. Now if you're new here then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look on the channel my past reviews. Now if you're already here then welcome, thanks for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. But without any further ado, I don't even want to waste any time. Let's start talking about Lux right now. I always lie about these things, not intentionally, but I, we're not getting into it just yet. I always, for, I always forget this. I, I forgot to say I bought Lux with my own money, that's all, okay. Unbiased review here. I actually bought it. Oh, money. Let's let's get into the review. First off, you need to know what actually is Lux. Lux gives you or your spectators the ability to harness the true power of ultraviolet light. Here's one of the thousands of effects possible with Lux. The spectator is handed a UV pen and the special Lux device. They then draw a UV X anywhere on themselves. They then shine the UV light on the X and in ultra slow motion in their hands on their skin, the X that they just drew visually vanishes. Like the Avengers Thanos snap, it literally melts away into the ether. Next, with the light still in their hands, they shine the light on your arm and the X that they just saw vanish visually emerges back into existence on your skin. This is the closest magic has ever gotten to making CGI from the movie screen into a real life thing. And it's entirely in the audience's hands if you want it to be. From the cleanest invisible deck ever created to undeniably fair lottery predictions, from book tests to bank nights and everything in between, the dynamic power of Lux is truly unparalleled. You can perform Lux with everything you need right out of the box, and Lux comes with a precision-made intelligent Lux device, a custom UV pen with specific ink that does not irritate the skin. It is an ungimmicked UV pen though. You can perform Lux right out of the box as it comes with everything you need. Lux comes with a precision-made intelligent Lux device, a custom UV ink pen with specific ink that does not irritate the skin, and the pen is ungimmicked. It comes with four batteries, enough to last six months worth of performances, and it comes with a downloadable or a streamable tutorial video from Lloyd Barnes himself with expert instructor Javier as well from Murphy's Magic teaching you how to use Lux and tons of different routines, additional ideas, and special tips. When you pick up Lux, you're not just getting another magic trick that's getting buried into a drawer. You're owning a covert James Bond-esque device that's powerful and practical for the modern performer and it can live seamlessly on your keychain until the moment you need it. Harness the energy of light, capture the power, of Lux. Now that you know what Lux is and what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions you may have, such as how difficult is it to perform? Lux is so easy to do. I mean, it is unreal how easy this trick is to do, actually. The keychain, the light, the UV light that you get does all the work for you. You barely have to know how to do anything. This sounds so bad. It sounds like I'm degrading this trick. It's not a bad thing. It's a great thing, actually, because it puts a lot of the pressure off you to remember how this works and it puts the, the basically the effort that you can put into this on the scripting or the performance or something like that. So really love that about it. <laughs> kind of just answered uh, my first question there. So yeah, how easy is it to perform? It's so incredibly easy. Let's talk about the angles real quick. What are the angles? The angles for this, for Lux, are, they are basically non-existent. I mean, you put this on their skin, you draw the X or they draw the X, whatever, with the ungimmicked UV ink pen. And what you can, they supply one that's like not supposed to irritate your skin with like the ink. Cause I know like some people have sensitive skin. Uh, sometimes things do irritate my skin. So I, I was glad they included that. Uh, Lloyd also mentions another uh, marker that he uses that's a UV ink marker that he actually mentioned in one of his, I think it was a Sunday session. So if you wanna search for that, you can probably find it in, in one of the Sunday sessions he did recently, uh, which is a lot to look through. So sorry that that would actually be a lot. I'll try to find it and put a link into the description uh, for that UV ink pen, or at least another one out there in case you run out of ink. But basically, how are the angles? They're pretty much non-existent. This is a really easy trick to do. And let's talk even more about it because I'm excited to get into this. Is there any initial setup or DIY, anything you have to do? Uh, no, there's not really any DIY. Uh, the, the, the little bit of like initial setup you have to do is one, there is a plastic ring you have to take out of your UV flashlight because it's basically there to keep the batteries from being activated while it's like being stored or being shipped or, or whatever. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, the battery's being dead by the time you get it. Another thing they recommend doing is taking pliers and taking off the end of the ink pen and like kind of pushing the, the ink supply down to the tip more because that way the ink can flow as well. They basically did like made it this way and the reason that you have to do this is so that way when you get your ink pen, 
it's not dried out. You don't want to dry it out when you, when you first get this trick in the mail after you pay $75 for it. So good thinking there, appreciate that. Also gonna throw up a quick clip of Javier teaching you what you have to do with the UV ink pen, just in case you already own it and you missed that part, don't know how it was in the beginning. But mainly this is for people that are scared because I said DIY and I know some people get scared because of that. So here's like a quick clip just showing what you have to do because public knowledge, I'm not revealing anything here. It's a normal UV ink pen, so here you go. So only the part with the ridges, that's the only piece that will come out, you're going to grab it and now by adding a little pressure make sure you're gripping it really good and when you pull you'll see that the back side will come out and then your ink cartridge is going to be separated like so just push it in you're gonna feel you're gonna feel it go in that's what she said <laughs> Let's talk about some things you might have to buy if you use this, which you will. Trust me, it's amazing. And I kind of just spoiled the rest of this review. So that's great for the watch time statistics. So, you know, good, good on me, Tyler. Good job, good for you. You're gonna buy a UV ink pen because if you run out of ink, you're gonna be buying new batteries for your flashlight, your UV little keychain light, because it takes four small batteries, which I'll put a link to what they are in the description down below as well. And I'll also throw them up here. Ooh. Ooh, look at that Tyler and Post putting in that work. Good job, Tyler. Good job, future Tyler. And those are pretty much really the only things you're gonna need to buy because batteries and ink, the pen itself, you know, it's normal. So you can get that anywhere. The batteries, normal as well. Find those wherever, quality, batteries are sold. Are there any negatives about Lux? There's not many, but I mean, I feel like with most tricks, you know, you, you gotta, there's something that could be better or that's really just unavoidable and you just need to be warned about. So that's what I'm gonna tell you here. The Lux device right here is great. It, it's wonderful. But when you're working with UV ink, okay? Look, this is the UV ink pen here. When you're working, this is what it looks like there. There you go. But when you're working with UV ink, you gotta be careful because if you're performing somewhere where people go to a like a nightclub afterwards, or maybe I mean you're not gonna be performing this in a nightclub if they have blue like UV lights, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, but like you get your hand stamped or something with UV ink and all that kind of things. But basically, if you write an X on someone's hand and you make it vanish, and then an hour later, you know you're out. And let's say you're, you're performing restaurant magic, and an hour later those people go out to a club or, or a bar that has some like specific lighting. It's gonna look weird when that when that X shows back up if you ended with it vanishing. So what I recommend you doing is, I, I would just make the, the X or whatever it is that you draw, I would make the UV ink end on them. So that way you don't have to worry about that. Like if you know that they're gonna be going out somewhere or, or even if there's a chance, like if you're performing this in the evening, I honestly just recommend don't, don't leave the ink on their hand at like during the routine, make it vanish, but then by the end of it, make it come back, okay? That's my recommendation. That's how I get around that. One more negative I will say is that sometimes the ink, you can kind of still see like the reflection of because it's just ink, right? Now, I, when I'm, that is not really an issue on skin, but if you're writing this on like something glossy, kind of like, pay, like, a, like a playing card, sometimes depending on your lighting and the angle of the card, you can kind of see like, if you made the, the ink vanish, you can still kind of see like a reflection of where it was on the card. So kind of with the with the thing that I was talking about just now where I say like, hey, if you're in before this, people that go to clubs that have like UV lights, you know, stuff like that. You wanna make sure that you end with the X on there and that way it doesn't vanish and then they're like, oh my gosh, I can still kind of see it. No, just kind of make it like a sandwich. Start with it there, make it vanish, make it come back. And that's what I recommend. Another thing that's not really a negative, but I do want to kind of just let you know about, uh, you want to do some audience management in this, making sure that you teach them how to properly use the keychain. Super easy. I mean, it's literally just like pressing a button. That's it. Like they're just pressing the on button. That's all it is. But some people, yeah, I, some people are just weird. You, you, you know, if you're out there performing, you get some like, some people out there every now and again that just want to like, I don't know, they just do weird things with your props and just make sure that you, you quickly just, you know, tell them, hey, this is how it works. Just click it on, click it off, because that's all they need to do. There's no special anything about this that people need to do. It's literally just clicking it on and off. And I feel like that's simple and self-explanatory, but I just wanna throw that out there because I, I know that someone's gonna be out there performing this and they're gonna do something weird with it and it's not gonna like turn on and 
That's why. What are the positives about Lux? I love it. That's pretty much the positives. <laughs> uh, but but in, in, in all honesty, I mean, this is so cool. So cool. And I want to show you, when, when a lot of ad copies say, this is what CGI would look like in real life, it, it looks visual, but it's not CGI-like. You know what I mean? This is. This is so visual. It, like, it just like fades into existence or, or out of existence, whichever you choose. Another positive is that the possibilities are endless. I mean, think of all the things you can do with the principle of making ink vanish and reappear or being able to see ink that other people can't. Like, just think about that and jam on that for a little bit and you're gonna come up with so many different ideas for this. So I'm gonna show you what Lux looks like when it does its thing. Uh, so this is what Lux will look like if it was vanishing. So this is the X that I drew on my hand. Hopefully you can see that. Watch the X, just stare at it, and the longer you stare at it, the more it kind of looks like it's not even there. Check that out, and I can show this all over my arm. There's no X. And that, <laughs> that's Lux, and it looks so cool. If you're doing this to someone else, on someone's skin, or on a glossy surface that you might can see the residue of the ink, always end with the object being there on them. What should Lux retail as? Well, currently Lux retails for about $75, and is that a fair price? I know a lot of people think this is pricey, I do. Uh, and it kind of is for like a magic trick. Like, you know, this is one of the top tier magic, you know, items as far as price goes. Like the average magic trick probably costs like 30, 35 bucks. So when you get into the 70s and, and you know, close to 100, you're like, okay, what am I spending my money on? What should this retail as? Well it should retail for at least $75. I mean, this is like a Tesla under the hood. I mean, it really is. The things that you can do with this little device, they're incredible. I mean, this is so cool. I, I'm really not trying to sound like I'm just like talking this up. I mean, I literally bought it with my own money. I said that earlier, but like, this is so fun to play with. It's so fun to show people. And it is just an incredible device. And they have done, they thought of pretty much everything with this. I mean, there's so many settings. There's so many settings you can put this in. Like, I can keep talking about good things. That's another positive. You can literally do so much with this. Uh, I'll, the settings I'll kind of flash up here right now. Boom. Those are the settings. Is that not incredible? The amount of things you can do with this? I love this thing. I love this thing so much. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And if you feel that Lux is for you, a link to purchase it is in the description down below. Remember, I bought this effect my own money, so. I'd like to thank myself because uh, you're welcome for providing this unbiased review. Truly, I bought this thing, all $75 of it, with my own money. I actually paid for express shipping because I wanted this thing in my hands ASAP. And I don't do that often, so I just want to point that out. This, I really do like this product, if you couldn't tell by watching me ramble on for this long. But thanks so much if you're here all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully, I will see you in another review that I post on the channel sometime soon. So remember, be kind to people. See ya.